Hello and welcome to our eBackpack video tutorial on our new iOS update. We'll start with all of the basics of everything that you already know and move on into our new features. So the first oldie but goodie is the gear icon in the upper left hand corner and as before you can sign out, change your password, access our blog through what's new, go to our support site and view which version of eBackpack you are currently running. Our most recent update is v3.00 410. Moving to the right, we have our plus sign, and as before, you can add to eBackpack, whether that's an assignment, a folder, a multimedia file, or a file from any of your linked external accounts. In the bottom right, we still have our current assignments location, and there we get our to-do list, essentially, of all of the assignments that we have not completed. Red assignments are past due. Yellow assignments are due either today or tomorrow, and the green assignments are due after that time frame. You can access a very similar view by clicking on this assignments tile. This assignments tile also tells us how many assignments we have that are late. So I have five late assignments according to this red circle. The yellow circle tells me that I have two assignments due either today or tomorrow, and then assignments eight tells me that I have eight assignments assigned to me at this time. And last but not least is my e-backpack. The look and location has changed, but the functionality has remained the same. So when I select my e-backpack, I still get a list of all of these same folders. We just have a new look on the icon. Moving on to our exciting new features, we have the calendar front and center. And this calendar is the weekly view. You'll notice that I have several different colors, and these colors are for different classes for which I'm either an admin or a student, and those colors are automatically generated by eBackpack. However, you can customize those colors if you go to the website to the Settings and Reports tab. Now, if I zoom in here a little bit, I get to see a little bit more detail, and you'll notice that these three assignments have a strikethrough marking. That strike through marking indicates that I have marked these assignments as complete. Like home row here that does not have the strike through, I have not marked it as complete. Now if I want to see further information about this Moore's assignment, I simply select it and I go directly to the Moore's assignment folder. This calendar tile here in the middle of the page will direct you to a full month's calendar. Next we'll move to this notifications area and the notifications is simply a list of your recent activity in eBackpack that is date and time stamped and it also provides quick navigation to that particular event. So if I select you have submitted a file to the Moors, it will take me to that submission to the Moors folder. We've already gone over a few of these tiles, but just a little bit more information. You can now directly access my files, your classes and groups, and your ePortfolio directly from the home screen instead of having to go through eBackpack. Additionally, this awaiting review category for teachers gives you a number in this gray circle that tells you that you have two assignments awaiting review. And then in the class and group requests tile, you'll have a blue circle if you have any pending requests. Right now I have one pending request and if I selected that tile, I would be able to either approve or deny admission into that class or group on eBackpack. Last but not least is the navigation drawer and there are two ways to access. The first is simply dragging your screen towards the right. The second is selecting this group of three horizontal lines to open up that navigation drawer. The navigation drawer provides quick access to all of these different locations. It also gives you a list of all of your current assignments that you have yet to complete. So if I look down here next to algebra I see a number two. This two indicates that I have two assignments that I have not completed and that would be binomials 212 and polynomials 214. If I wanted to see more information about Binomials 212, I simply select that line and it will take me to that assignment folder. So that's our quick overview of the new iPad look. Please stay tuned for more video tutorials and check out our blog for more updates.